In the earlier video, we saw that simple trends combine to form swing trends. Thus, a few simple uptrends alternate with a few simple downtrends, to form a swing trend. These swing trends combine to form complex trends. Here you can see, a swing uptrend is followed by a swing downtrend, and that is followed by another swing uptrend, which is corrected by another swing downtrend and so on, to form a larger complex uptrend and the same action is repeated in the opposite direction, in a complex downtrend. A complex trend defines the larger trend and mood of the markets. Thus, we can say, a bull market is a complex uptrend and a bear market is a complex downtrend. Trend change. We should also remember, investors and traders are a stubborn lot and they do not let go of the trend easily. So, we should never be in a hurry to call for a change in the larger trend, or any trend for that matter. As a general guideline, do not expect a change in trend unless the market corrects more than 50% of the prior trend. I would like to draw your attention to another video, where I explained why there are a minimum of three swings in the markets. Markets can never do one swing and it is always a minimum of three swings, when we take the larger picture into consideration. Note that the term swing is used loosely here, and it does not imply a swing trend. If you have not seen the earlier video, you can watch this video by clicking the link here on the top right corner. Sometimes, there appears alternation between simple uptrend and swing downtrend. A simple uptrend or a simple downtrend that consists of bars that have a big range, appear to be corrected by a swing uptrend or swing downtrend. Here we can see this clearly. A simple downtrend is corrected by a swing uptrend. Study other charts on your own and you will find this happening quite often. This brings us to the question of the duration of a trend. We shall look at the time duration and how to incorporate time in a future video. See this hourly chart of India Bank Nifty. We can see everything we have talked about so far very clearly. In conclusion, the most important part of this video is, do not expect a change in trend unless more than 50% of the earlier trend is retraced. In the next video we shall see how to use individual bars to take a high probability trade.